This is all about compensation, and we can add, subtract, multiply, or divide by using the compensation strategy or method. Compensation is something given to make up for something else, or something which makes up for a loss. And by using compensation, we can do mental math to add or subtract incompatible amounts. We compensate one number with amounts from the other number to make mental math easier. So for addition, what we do is, if we have 9 plus 6, it would be easier to add 10 to 6, wouldn't it? So because 6 is a 1 plus 5, we take the 1 away from the 6, we give it to the 9, and this is mental math, okay? So that would give us 10 plus 5. We could do the same thing with 19 plus 16. We could make it 20 plus 15. See? Taking 1 from the 6, we give it to the 9 to make 10. Then we add 10 plus 5 mentally. And we can do this with decimals, too. If we have a 9.9 .9 plus 4.3, all this needs is a little 0.1, a little 1 tenth to become a 10, doesn't it? We can take 1 tenth away from the 4.3 and make it a 4.2. And... This now becomes a 10, and mentally we can add 10 plus 4 plus 2. See? We get 14.2. Here's more addition. If we have 59 plus 21, it's the same thing as 59 plus 1 plus 20, isn't it? Because that makes the 21. We give the 1 to the 59, make it a 60. We end up adding in our head 60 plus 20, which is 80. Let's try another one. 87 plus 45, well, we can make this a 90 if we just had three more. So we could take the 3 from the 45 and make it a 42, give it to the 87, and now we have 90 plus 42. We can add that in our head as 132. Let's try another one. Here we have 295 plus 25. This only needs 5 more to become 300. So we can take the 5 away from the 25, give it to the 295, and then add mentally 300 plus 20. 320, okay? Now, we can use equal additions method when we subtract numbers. We add the same amount to each number so they're more compatible. If we have 43 minus 17, those aren't very compatible numbers. So what we can do is, with equal additions method, we can add the same amount to both the subtrahend and minuan. That's going to give us 46 minus 20. We added 3, we added 3. See? That's going to give us 46 minus 20, which is very easy to do, to do mentally. It's 26. Let's try another one. We have 84 minus 28. This would be 30 if we just had two more. So we can add 2 to this side and 2 to this side. We add 2 to both of them. Then we get an 86 minus a 30. That's much easier to do with mental math. That's 56. Let's try another one. We have 86 minus 59. Well, it would be a lot easier to subtract 60, right? So it only needs one more. So let's add 1 to the 86 and 1 to the 59. And now we have 87 minus 60, which is 27. All right. And we can use multiplicative compensation to multiply incompatible numbers. If we have 68 times 5, what we do is, this is a little different than the other ones, we divide the first one by 2 and then multiply the second one by 2. See that? So in this one, we're using two different operations where dividing the multiplican and multiplying the multiplier. See? 68 divided by 2 is 34, and 5 times 2 is 10. Then we can do 34 times 10. And it's easy to use for mental math, this method, when it's an even number and you can divide it by 2 very quickly. See? Or if you're just trying to make that 5 into a 10 because it's easy to multiply by 10 or 100. Let's try one more. We have 48 times 25. Well, it's a lot easier to multiply by 100 than it is by 25. And we would have to multiply this by 4 to make it 100. That means we have to divide this by 4. 
So 48 divided by 4 is a 12. 25 times 4 is a 100. Now we have 12 times 100. That's easy to do in our head. That's 1,200. Okay. Now, what about division? We can use division compensation to divide or multiply the dividend and divisor by the same amount. If we have 126 divided by 18, even numbers are the best, we can divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 and make it a simpler problem because then we'll have 63 divided by 9. We've now turned it into an easier, simpler problem. And if you know your times table, you know 9 times 7 is 63, so 63 divided by 9 is 7. All right, let's try one more. We have 115 divided by 5. We can multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2. See? In this one, we divided it by 2 and divided it by 2. But if we want to get this to be a 10, which is more compatible than 5, we just multiply both of them by 2. So we have 230 divided by 10. That's easier to do with mental math. That's a 23. All right? So if this seemed really confusing, I'll go back and watch it again. So you're going to watch a six or seven minute video again. That's not that big of a deal. That's like a commercial break on a television show. All right. So I hope you're having a great day. Keep trying, keep plugging, keep moving forward. I'm proud of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.